What's up guys? Welcome back to the chicken adventure for December 13th. We're going to go feed the chickens right now and then go look at the chicks. It's always this group of chickens that are right here by the fence when I go out to feed them. The little chicks are doing good with the big hens. They're adjusting. And everything. They fit in the best group of chicks I've ever had. Maybe mixing them when they're a little bit younger because it's the youngest I've ever Mix chicks in with big hens is the best way to do it, I guess. Because the hens don't mind them at all. And the older chicks are about full grown in a month or so. They'll be full grown. There's the buzzard rooster. I gotta fix this, it came off here. So now it doesn't latch on there. Get back, turkey. Turkey next been a lot more nosy lately. These little chicks like to get in here too. A light on, cause the battery's dead in this one, I need to replace it. Sixty-five is what it is right now. And Christmas week, our highs are all in the thirties. Took all the snow out though. I personally like snow. If it's gonna be cold, I say it might as well just snow. There's Joe. The chicken's roost. Chickens are going crazy. Just filled their pools up yesterday and they took dirty. Made them get dirty. It's all the chickens. Ivan's missing the party. Running up here though. Here's Joe. Wanting food. We don't give Joe food because he's neutered and you're not supposed to give neutered goats any food. He's already really fat. And he's wanting grain. Joe move. He weighs more than me. So he's kind of hard to get out of the way sometimes. So you guys said that um, you wanted me to cut less, like I cut a lot in between scenes, whether I'm feeding the chickens or doing barn work or something like that, and you want it more unedited and just, I guess, longer episodes or something, so I'm going to start doing that. I'm going to try to do more of that, just what I normally do when I'm not making a video. Let's see here, I got the chicks and food. Run low on chick starter. I'm gonna get some more of that soon. It's not easier feeding them all in the same pin though, at once. Woo. There goes that chicken. I eat that food fast. Joe, get them some of this food. I feed my chickens about, what is that? That's one quart, like, probably six quarts of food, three times a day. So they get plenty of food and they're free range. So they're nice and well on food. Joe doesn't think he is though. We've been having a problem with Joe getting in the other field, our neighbor's field. She put a fence up so he couldn't get in there. 
because she kept getting in there. Except in the back corner, she didn't put a fence up. And Joe's figured out that there's not any chicken wire right there, so he can sneak in there and try to steal their that neighbor's horse's food because they feed them. See, this is the extent of Joe. Joe, I got him a new collar. It has his name on it with little footballs on it because his other one was getting wore out and tore. And Wesley opens the barn door and Joe gets in here. Only way I can get Joe out. Grab him. <laughs> Joe, get out. I like that chick. It's one of my favorite. Joe! No food. We need to put fence up so I can't get another food. We need a name for this one. I've hand feeded it and everything a couple times. It's one of the calmest chicks. There's Wesley and the cat. We've had to lock up our backyard because the cats are getting back there and scratch on our pool table we got. We need to get a new latch. Had to rewire wire on here a lot of times. Chickens are finished up eating. Chicks can usually drink on the, out of the water, so they just hop up there and grab the water. One of their bowls busted when it froze. I went out there and it's just in tons of pieces. These two, the twins that look exactly alike, follow me around. I try to tell them apart, but they look a lot similar. Chicken, still kind of a mess from one. Chicks were in there. Their bowls are over there in the other pen. There's turkey neck. The water bin we put out here, so um, about halfway full. I filled it up a little bit, but it really hasn't ran dry yet. Glad we got that out here. Actually, I'm gonna give Blue some more water. I think they, they drink their water down pretty fast. When it snows, the chickens usually just hang out in the hen house. And probably half of them come out and eat in the snow. Or they come out and just play in it. Totally missed this thing. <laughs> Fill this up. When it freezes pretty good, this thing doesn't freeze. This morning, we bought land over there, across the street, and there was about uh, three or four deer over there. Coyotes are bad too, all in that field and over there. They're over here all the time, making our dogs bark like crazy. You can hear them at night though. The main annoying thing is the dogs barking after the coyotes finish howling. Then our big dog Jimmy barks all night. There's those guys are. The rooster will actually leave when I feed the big hens, but or the, he'll leave most of the day out of this pen. But he'll always come back here at night to because he can fly over this easy. It's the horse bent it in. But he always comes back at night and roosts with him. I only got about three eggs yesterday. This cat 
We named him Sugar. It's Spice. The duck is probably one of the smartest birds. So he'll sit here all the time and stare at Bear until he finishes his dog food, which he usually leaves with a couple pieces. The duck's the first one to get in it. Then the crowd of chickens comes and tries to beat her. Joe. If you ever get a goat, they headbutt a lot. He's the one that gets up on the posts and everything and starts crowing. There they go. Perch is the only one that gets stuck in the backyard. Because she flies over right here. Then I can't catch her. She's one of the fastest chickens. There we go. Fastest chickens I have. She's the mama hen. Little perch. We'll have some more of same breed soon. Or we already do, they're just chicks. There she goes. Okay, so half the chicks, well, not even half, just a quarter of the chicks are right here. So I put the, and then the rest are in here already. So I put that quarter back in there and they're all snuggled up. But look who's up here again. Fluffy head always goes up here and I take her down and the next night she just doesn't go down again. Go in there. When the rest of her group wanted to go in the hen house probably like over a month ago or two months she decided not to learn with them. <laughs> I guess. We're gonna get the eggs now. Skit. It's only um 57 right now. It's gonna cool down tomorrow. The high tomorrow is only 46. So it's gonna be a little colder tomorrow. We'll see blue and then. We might let Reggie out, see how he does. They're doing well. A couple legs at the bottom there. There's Reggie. So I got two eggs there. She might be laying now. I have three, because I used to get blue eggs, but now they just don't lay, uh, lay at all. Priscilla, I know, lays blue eggs. That hen in there, I know, lays blue eggs. And this one right here lays blue eggs, but she's molting right now. But I haven't got a blue egg in probably three months. All the chickens are in here. It's a rooster. There's another one. They're up there again. I need to get the duck eggs out here. There's three over there. Hello. That duck is never calm when I come in here. Calm down. Get their eggs they have. New egg layer. It's a tiny egg. But I get blue eggs. Which I don't anymore, really. And white eggs, brown eggs, and like kind of a peach color. The ones that are crossbred. Is this one cracked? No, it's just really dirty. I can't sell the eggs that have big stains on them, so. Those chicks are really loud. Turping away. There's that one. I'm gonna 
by herself over there. These are kind of like the peach color ones. They're like half white, half brown. There it is, everybody. Thanks so much for watching the video, guys. Make sure to share the videos with your friends. I'll see you next time.